Today we are going to make a Captain Marvel clothespin doll. In addition to the head bead, half pipe cleaner, and clothespin you need for the basic clothespin doll video linked below, you will also be needing paint in blue, red, and gold, felt, or two pieces of felt in one inch by four and a half inches of a strip and a two inch by three and a half inch rectangle. Additionally, you will be needing a ultra fine tipped sharpie, a toothpick, and a pencil a hot glue gun, tacky glue, and scissors. Optionally, you can use a small yellow crystal to augment the center of the star. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is draw on where we want the suit to be. To start that, I'm going to draw the star in the center of the doll's chest. And that is a large plus and then a small x. Now I'm going to draw the stripes coming out from the star. Now I'm going to add in some details. As you can see, I added on the neckline and this extra decoration. You can add as many details as you'd like, but I recommend you keep something simple like this. As you can see, I've taken the head off the doll to make painting easier. I'm going to be using some blue paint. As you can see, here's the front the side, and the back. These lines don't have to be exact because you will be going over all of them with either red or gold. Now we're going to add on some red. I'm using an angled brush to get these lines nice and straight. But if you don't have an angled brush, you can also use painter's tape. Now I'm painting on the red boots. As you can see, I'm using the very tip of my angled brush. You can also use a very thin brush to add this blue line here. Now I'm going to be using my gold paint to paint on the stripes. While the paint is still wet, I'm using a toothpick to scrape off the stray marks. Now I'm using a Sharpie to divide the two gold lines. Now I'm going to use a toothpick to put on the star. Once more, it is a big plus sign and a small x. I put some glue onto the center of the line that I put for the gem. Then I'm going to use a toothpick with a tiny bit of glue on it as well to put the gem in place. So here's my half pipe cleaner and I'm going to fold in the ha hands to make the arms. And here is my felt, which is an inch wide. Once I have my pipe cleaner hands folded, I'm going to measure them against the felt and cut it to the right length. Now you're going to take the hot glue and put it along the edge of one side of the felt. Then you're going to press the felt together over the pipe cleaner. I am taking my glue and putting it on the very edge of one side of the felt and then pressing the felt to the pipe cleaner. Here I've glued the arms onto the back of the doll. If you don't want to use a jacket, you can use blue felt for this, but I want to put on a jacket, so I'm using brown. Here is my four by one and a half inch piece of felt. I'm going to fold it in half, and then I am going to cut it down the middle until the halfway point. Now I'm going to cut a very small slit at the fold. As you can see, I cut a very small slit at the fold. To make the collar, I'm going to fold out a small section of it and secure it with hot glue. Now you're going to cut off the corners of the sleeves. 
Now we're going to cut the bomber shape of the jacket, first by cutting off the excess fabric at the waist. I'm using hot glue to glue the front corners to the hips of the doll. So as you can see, the jacket's a little bit poofed out. Now you're going to glue the back corners of the front two flaps to the back of the doll. Now we're going to cut approximately a quarter inch off the bottom of the back. Now we're going to cut down from the shoulders and all the way down the back. As you can see from the shoulder and then all the way down. Then you're going to glue the back onto the doll and then trim off the excess felt. Your doll is done. Thank you for watching.